to this month's, well not this month, this quarter's uh, Cosbox unboxing. Um, I normally don't do the Cosbox box unboxings, but I decided that since a whole bunch of my um, subscriptions are gone now, I just, either they were canceled by the person who um, in like had the company or they just had I just decided to cancel them I've kind of not had very many and I actually end up preferring not the monthly ones so much as I prefer these quarterly ones because I feel like the quarterly ones are um, more bang for your buck and they tend to be more lifestyle oriented so it's not a whole lot of just makeup or just you know specific type items so I've been kind of letting the monthly ones go and have been picking up the quarterly ones and I've been enjoying them I'm not going to do some of the quarterlies because they have a tendency to be overdone by all the YouTube people so you guys see everything anyway but Cosbox is not done by every single person and um, everything that you receive it's a little bit different depending on what they pick for you so I actually didn't know what I was going to get um, because I'm not an annual subscriber I don't have enough money to pay for the whole entire year at once. So um, they tell me what I'm going to get when I receive it. And so um, I opened it yesterday. And so I already saw what I received and I like it. So um, I'm excited to share it with you. I'll start with the gorgeous box itself. This is, I love using these boxes um, for like re-gifting purposes. Like I'll put um, bigger items in it and I'll give them to my friends um, for like presents, either birthday or Christmas or whatever. And I love them because there's just, I mean, like artwork is just gorgeous. And when you open it up, it also has really pretty inside too. So I guess if you wanted to, you could actually flip it out. Um, I know the Erin Condren boxes are meant to be re-giftable and so you can flip them out and then turn it so that the cover is like this. Although, I guess that wouldn't work, but I think you can make it work um, and turn it around into a box. I don't know. I may just be making this up and you guys are like, oh, she's crazy. But whatever. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> this box is so big, it's like running into my camera. <laughs> um, all right. So, when you open it up, it's just a mix of, uh, there's like a handful of like self-care items and then there's art products. Um, uh, lifestyle stuff like things you'd use in your kitchen or you'd use just in your general life. Um, so we'll start with the little insert that tells you more about what you're receiving. And it just has uh, information. The whole purpose behind Cosbox is that it's supporting, um, from what I understand, it's supporting uh, businesses that are you know, not big corporations and, or if they are bigger corporation, they have very ethical practices about how they like do their businesses and the way they treat their employees or their workers, um, how things are taken from their origin to the market and how it gets there. That's all part of it. And I think that's a really, a, a, a nice way to um, approach a box because sometimes subscription boxes can be a little bit like, you know, the same old, same old. So it's, it's just a little different take on it. So there's a whole bunch of things you could have received. I'm sorry. And so a whole bunch of these items and what you received was dependent upon what they picked for you unless you were an annual subscriber. So if you're an annual subscriber, you could have chosen this or I believe this necklace or you could have chosen this scarf or this self-care journal. Everybody received one of these bags, these bags, this little lunchbox in whatever color and this mist and eye cream. Okay. So each, each, uh, each of these has a lot of information just about the people involved in the practice and making of the items. It's like a little magazine. They're actually really, they're neat to read because you can read more about how things go from its origin to its market. Um, anyway, so here's a story about the bags. All right, so I'll go ahead and put that away. Um, I love their little art prints. I actually use them to decorate my um, desk area in my room. And this is actually a postcard, so if you wanted to, you could send it to someone, which is always nice. Um, this is beautiful, absolutely stunning. I'd like to frame this actually and just hang it somewhere as opposed to just putting it on my desk. Next we have the Artisan Direct Sustainable Grocery Starter Kit. It's a set of five, and I believe these are nice for um, if you were to go to the supermarket and you just want, do want to use the little plastic bags that they have. You know, the ones that you take forever to go like this to get them opened, and like they're really hard to open, and I'm standing there like an idiot in the middle of the store like, 
you stupid bag. I'm just going like this. I'm like getting really angry and frustrated and everybody around me is like, that lady needs some, she needs a massage and that's probably true. <laughs> but now I don't even have, I just bring these and use them to uh, <laughs> make my produce purchases. It might be a little bit better for my poor sanity. I will say that I've not actually been doing a whole bunch of shopping in the grocery stores right now. Um, I, I will go pick up food, um, but I won't go to the grocery stores. I prefer to just um, order online and either have it delivered or we pick it up just simply because we can have that option and I'd rather just not even worry about going out and being part of the non going out movement. Um, plus I get a little bit like germs and stuff and I know everything's probably fine if you sanitize everything. But um, so once everything is done with this COVID-19 pandemic, I'm looking forward to going back and using these. So say I wanted to just buy like five, um, you know, tomatoes, I could put them in here and they cinch up. And if your grocer or your bag, sorry, your uh, checkout person is good they can actually take away that amount from the bag from the uh, purchase i don't know if i would worry too much about it it's probably just not even a cent so but they're really there's five of them there's this really big one there's a cloth one a smaller cloth another mesh and the tiniest mesh and you know actually something like this would be great if you have um, beautiful lingerie and you like to um, take good care of your clothes when you're washing them you could slip the pretty lingerie into here and then tie it up like that and it would wash it but it wouldn't get like tangled up in anything um, so as someone who tries to take really good care of my clothes as I cream myself <laughs> um, these are these are handy in the the wash uh, the washing machines and the dryers. Um, although I would never um, my nice little lingerie, I'd never dry that. Um, so another good good option would be if you travel, you can use these just for um, sorting and organizing if you don't have anything like that already. Okay. Next up, we have this huge bag. Oh my goodness! So this bag is actually vegan leather or pleather, PVC. A lot of people don't like it. I'm neither here nor there about the actual plastic versus leather. Leather's nice, but um, this is not in leather and it smells fine. It's you know, a little plasticky, but it'll go away. These are, this one's like really nice for, um, it's a black, so I probably wouldn't use it over the summer. I am actually supposed to be heading to Poland this summer, as long as everything's good. I'm gonna be teaching English there for a couple of weeks. And I was thinking, oh, this would be a great travel bag, but then it came in black. And since I don't tend to wear any black in summer, it's not really gonna be my, it's not a good option for me this summer, but it'll be good for me in this, the fall and spring, uh, fall and winter next year. Cause I take a lot of walks in the winter time. And um, I like to have something that'll match all the clothes. I'm trying to put the tie, the tie on so y'all can see it um, with the tie. Should have done this before. <laughs> Watch Dina be really bad at this. Okay. This is pathetic. Okay, seriously. Okay. Oh, there we go. So, it has a nice long bag uh, strap. There's a front pocket that's really big. And you can, I would slip my Note 9 in there because my uh, phone is huge. And then this middle portion, um, this is why I like it for a travel bag. It's actually because it's zippered. And there's a lot of little pockets and things. So if you have anything that you need to keep more protected, like a passport or money, you can slide it into this inner zipper pocket and then zip this pocket. And then the process of someone stealing this to this to unzip is a little bit hard. So um, I'll go ahead and stand up and flip around so y'all can see. So I'm the cross bag, it sort of just sits, switch my chair over, it sits down here, but it is adjustable. I'm actually a shorter torso. So what I would do is actually un, unbutton this and then probably put it up to about here, which would make it about that short. I prefer to wear things more at my hip level than down here, but either way, so you can adjust it. So it's actually a really well thought out bag. And even though it's a big bag, it doesn't seem to add too much bulk to the overall appearance of my frame so 
it's a good choice. All right, so for the next one, I'm actually going to put my seat back. I told my daughter that I needed her help today because I stupidly wore a turtleneck. And I remember that there was a bandana in here. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, the uh, back in this is by Pixie Mood. Okay. All right, um, so my daughter is going to come in here and she is going to try on the bandana for me. And the bandana is by Jenny Earl, and it's made in India. And again, this was not a choice, but I like it. It's very pretty. I would normally just tie this around my neck, but because I wore a turtle neck, I can't do it. But it's actually a fairly, I think it's a nice size bandana. I mean, I guess I could use it now as like a personal protection mask, but I'm not gonna do it. I mean, I have, uh, actually what I have, for those of you interested, um, if you're looking for a mask or you've not made one, um, J. Crew a few years ago, probably about five to 10 years ago, made these little head scarves with the elastic at the back. And what it is is you would tie it up sort of like a babushka tie like that. And it, it has elastic at the bottom. And so what it is, is it hangs as like a headscarf here. It's elastic and then I can just pull it up when I'm going into shops and places where I'm not, where I'm gonna be more than, or closer to them than six feet or 10 feet or whatever the distance is. All right, CW, you wanna come on in? I wanna put the little bandana around your neck. It's super cute. And she's going to be my model. I'm not a model. She's not a model, but she wants me, I mean, I want to, to see how cute she's gonna look. <laughs> Okay, okay, guys, here. like this video if you like Edward Scissorhands. Like okay, so it. this is her fan art from... Edward Scissorhands. You can't even see a okay, scissorhands. No, no, sweetie, sweetie. Make it closer. Okay, you're, they can see your face, so they... Hide your... You have to hide your face or else they won't be able to see it. So... You've got to watch that movie. All right, so she made this, and there's her Edward Scissorhands. Um, picture, and then maybe I can put a better photo of it up on the video itself. Right? I here. Okay, so I'm just tying this around her neck like I would probably wear it, which is this sort of, I like this little French girl. This is not French, it's no. like airplane person. Or, or the, well that's true, flight, flight attendant. attendant. Well, I call it the little French girl, but yes, every time I wear my scarves like this, I do get told I look like a flight attendant. And I'm like, the exit's right to the back. Or they could be behind you, in front of you. I always do I? <laughs> okay, so here, show them your beautiful scarf, bandana. But that's that's the way I would style it. But you could also, you know, use it the other ways that we talked about, either as a COVID nineteen scarf or, you know, a little headband. Oh wait, I know how to put it on. I know how to put it on well. Oh no, no, I see. It's... I know how to put it on uh, really cool. Because okay. you know, you gotta be cool. Alright, I'll get the next item out. Go you ahead. Gotta be cool, in Corona. Gotta go away. All right, so I'm gonna get the next item out while she's doing that. I look like a bandana. I mean a bandit. bandit. Bandana. <laughs> okay. All right. Goodbye, my dear. Thank you for modeling. Say bye to everybody. Bye. Like this video if you like Edward Scissorhands. Because it's the best movie ever. <laughs> she watched it a couple nights ago and is now obsessed. I gotta go fix my hair. Okay, bye. All right, so the next item, thank you, honey, is from Card... Dia all set and it's the calm mood mist and it's I've made these actually before because I, I dabble with the aromatherapy and it has the ingredients I would typically use when I'm making my own um, aromatherapy mixes it starts off with the base of witch hazel and then added to that are um, different variations of essential oils and then you mix it together and this one has um, lavender it's got um, bergamot bergamot and frankincense and some I said um like one last thing it's like a I'm not quite sure what that is it may be some sort of preservative um cocoa glucol or something I don't know anyway so I'll go ahead and spritz it on myself because I get stressed I'm kind of I've been a lot stressed out these past couple of days so I just kind of <laughs> like a that I like essential oils. So if, if you're not a fan of like the floral heavy um, essential oils, this is not going to be your thing. But it definitely has that um, the calming lavender in it and the bergamot and the frankincense adds a little bit of kind of like a spice to it. So it's just not all lavender heavy. So um, that's a nice little item as well. 
And we have, I think, one more item or two more items, two more items. I also received the Bentgo, um, a reusable lunch thing. Oh, it, it matches my shirt because I've, I've got the little pink. It's the same color pink. Anyway, I like matching my little outfits. So um, this one is kind of cool because it um, it's, can be made very small or it can be made very... Um, so it can be made small like this. You open it up, you've got your um, cutlery. But there's also this section in here that can, I believe it can stack with the white if you need it to. And then back like this. And then you place the strap back around it and you still have so you have enough room in here so like you could put like maybe a, sa a sandwich um some fruits and vegetables uh you could do like rice on the bottom and then some kind of um protein mix that you would like make a bowl from it um the way you know instead of buying it at sweet green like i do often you could <laughs> you could make your own sweet green and put it in here and save yourself some money so that's what it looks like when it's fully ready. And then when you're done eating, that's when you take it and oops, make it into I want to be so much more graceful than I actually am. Oh well. I was not meant to be the graceful person. It was my husband. Walking down the stairs. Hey guys. Now he's yelling at my son. While I'm making a video, can you guys stop, please? Thank you. I understand that, but I'm in the middle of a video. <laughs> uh, staying home with your family, not having any privacy. <laughs> I think we're all just missing a little bit of privacy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to walk by one more time. And the last item will be this one. It's from a place called Dime, I guess Dime Cosmetics, and it's a eyelash boost serum and a volume mascara. And I love, um, a mascara is neither here nor there. If I, I just, I like use it for a couple months, I throw it away. So whatever mascara comes my way, I'm going to use it at some point. My favorite is Hourglass, so I'll try this out and see how I like it. What I am most excited about, though, is the eyelash serum, because I have super short eyelashes. I don't know if y'all can tell. Probably not. But I only get length when I um, put mascara on or volume. And apparently, if you use this every single day, um, I guess before you go to bed, I'm assuming, and you've cleaned your face, it's supposed to actually make your eyelashes thicker, which I would love because um, I have pretty sparse blonde eyelashes. Um, you can hardly see them, which is why I have to wear mascara so much. And Although I've got thick eyebrows, they are, they're kind of like spotty here. I'd rather have them thicker throughout. So what I'm hoping is that if I add some of this eyelash serum here, that it'll help like grow those a little bit thicker so that they match the thickness down here. So anyhow, so I'm excited to try these. And uh, that's it. So quite a few sweet little items, a, a whole hodgepodge of things, but I think they go together nicely and they suit um, the theme of the box, which is um, that sort of sustainable, ethical approach to businesses. And they're good items that I think everybody can use in their households. And even if I don't end up using something, it's these are great gifts to give to people. Like um, I've given a lot of Cosbox items that I've not used myself to people in my life, and they've all been very, very popular with my friends and family who I give them to. So that's always an option. If you don't have something in there that you absolutely love, just save it as a gift for someone. I'm sure they'll love it because these are well-made and they all have a pretty good story behind them. All right, hold the phone. I forgot one item from the Cosbox, um, and I feel kind of silly because 
I had even shown it off as like, oh, everybody's going to get this one. So I'm sure some of you were like, wait, what happened to that last item? So this is the Earth Harbor Aqua Aura Reparative Eye Cream. And it says it has seaweed collagen and blue tansy. And I've used blue tansy before and I've used seaweed products in my um, cosmetics. And I like them. They're usually really, really nice to use. Um, it's, the color is really pretty. It's this kind of sage green color and when I understand this is just a natural product so I think the person on my subscription addiction like had to shake it so it wouldn't have like like it would it I guess it had been separated um yeah so that's what it looks like it does smell really nice it has that that smell that I remember from the blue tansy oil that I have um, from another product. Um, and as someone who, um, I don't really have wrinkles here or here so much as I have them here. Um, my eye area, I've got very thin skin through here. So I have to be very careful about what I put around my eyes and I have to be very careful about how I apply it. So something like this could actually be really nice for my eyes um, to help with just the normal aging that people who have the thinner skin around their eyes are going to have. Um, so what I try to do, oh, and someone who smiles a lot, so I know that a lot of it is because I smile on a regular basis. So I guess, so if you have to have lines, they might as well be smile lines because it means you've lived a good life. But um, it says it's restorative and awakening, brightening and plumping combination of seaweed, collagen, blue tansy, potent antioxidants, replenishing plant oils, and soothing actives for firmer, stronger skin around the eye area. So I use retinol as well. And um, I've noticed that the combination of retinol and the combination of using things that have specifically targeted towards fine lines around my eyes. And I am taking um, a supplement of hyaluronic acid along with um, something called saw palmetto. And I've been using these um, daily and I have actually noticed that my skin is a little bit more plump and I don't have as much as far as the fine lines as I did prior to using those products so I think whatever it is I'm doing is actually working um, so I look forward to giving this one a shot as well um, so that was the last item that I forgot and so now we can go back to the review as I, I had done it initially just having forgotten the one item all right Okay, well, thank you all for listening and um, enjoying my Cosbox uh, review for spring of 2020. And um, hopefully I'll be back in summer 2020 to uh, review the one from this summer. Okay, if you like what you see, um, I also do a lot of clothing um, unboxings and reviews, and I also do some makeup stuff. So if you'd like to check out more of my channel, go ahead and subscribe below. And if you have content on your YouTube channel, I will definitely subscribe back. All right, y'all. Have a good one.